Welcome to the Big Fish, Big Dick, Level 19 Twink Hunter Guide. At level 19, hunters are arguably the strongest class to play as a twink. They have access to optimized gear which is not too difficult to get, the only problem is that there is always a cost to keep up the high quality ammo, but with engineering you can easily just use cheaper ammo and still be extremely effective. You can easily 1v1 every other class in the game, and will struggle the most against other hunters with more gear or consumes. But even if you're not entirely bis with consumables, you can still be extremely effective. Starting off for helmets your only options are either a lucky fishing hat if you can get it, or the green tinted goggles. This is one of the many reasons why engineering is so important, being able to have access to a relatively high powered helmet this early is a huge bonus, not to mention you can enchant it with a lesser arcanum of constitution or lesser arcanum of veracity. For shoulders, you can grab yourself a talbar mantle, if you can't get a hold of these, there are a pair of higher armor leather shoulders called scouting spalders that you can obtain. Although the stats from Talbar are superior. For your chest piece you'll want to head on into the dead mines to kill Vankleaf, grab yourself the blackened defias armor off of Vankleaf if you're Horde, as this is their best option. As Alliance, the Tunic of Westfall offers you more agility and is a better option overall, to obtain this chest piece you'll have to do a long quest chain in Westfall that starts from Brian Stoutmantle located in Sentinel Hill, and ends with you obtaining the head of Vankleaf. Slap either a major health enchant, or a greater stats enchant on that bad boy and you'll be good to go. For your cape you'll want to pick up either the glowing lizard scale cloak, or the sentry cloak. I personally believe the sentry cloak is superior overall, but it is more expensive, and you'll be doing whaling caverns for gear later down the road anyway so picking up the lizard scale cloak is a nice alternative. I suggest enchanting your cloak with either enchant cloak, superior defense, enchant cloak, lesser agility, or enchant cloak, greater resistance. Depending on what you want, defense for protecting against physical damage, agility to deal more damage, and resists to protect you from casters using elemental damage. For your gloves, you'll want to try to find yourself either a good green pair on the auction house, preferably the scouting gloves of the monkey for the highest damage potential, but if you're looking for a little less armor and damage in exchange for some more mana, then the mage fist gloves will do a good job. There is a third option, the gloves of the fang can fill the slot considering you'll be running whaling caverns anyway. The only enchant you should use is the superior agility enchant. If AQ patch is not available, then use the greater agility enchant. The best pants hands down are leggings of the fang, but if you cannot get a hold of these a good alternative are either the dark leather pants, or scouting trousers of the monkey. You'll have to head into whaling caverns to kill Lord Cobran for the pants. Use another liberum on your pants. In the belt slot you'll want to use the deviate scale belt, which is absurd for its level. It's decently expensive, but not too bad. You can easily farm the mats yourself from whaling caverns if you have a higher level skinner. To obtain the pattern you'll have to pick up a quest from Ebru who is in the little cave above the caverns. For boots, if you're into fishing, you can get the Natpagal's Extreme Anglin boots from STV Fishing Competition, but better yet, the feet of the Lynx offer you a solid 8 agility. These boots are usually expensive, but considering you're making a twink gold probably isn't the issue. If you can't afford these boots you can also search the auction house for a pair of leather boots with the of the monkey stat line, or just use the the foot pads of the fang. For enchants, use greater agility, enchant boots, greater stamina. If you're feeling extra spicy you can slap a minor movement speed enchant on them for 8% increased run speed. Now, for your ranged weapon. You'll want to use either Venom Strike or Little Timmy's Peas Hooter. If you're playing a dwarf, you should 100% use the Peas Hooter, and if you're a troll, use the bow. 
For the other races it doesn't matter too much, just remember that Venom Strike is technically free whereas Peas Hooter can cost you 10 to 20 gold. Slap Diddle Dap the best scope you can get on there and blast away. For your melee weapon, you'll want a two-hand weapon of the monkey, or the Twisted Chanter's staff enchanted with the 2H weapon, Agility. For your trinkets, you'll want the insignia of the Horde or Alliance depending on which faction you're playing. You can get the trinket from a PvP vendor in a major city, although you must be ranked 2. You'll also want to pick up the minor recombobulator from engineering to keep those sub ADI.Q polymorph spamming mages at bay. As for rings, pick yourself up a protector's band or legionnaire's band relevant to your level depending on your faction. As alliance, you can also pick yourself up the seal of Rin which is insane for its level. You'll need to complete the quest and audience with the king which is a chain quest beginning with the quest the attack. Given by Tyrion the gnome located in the Stormwind Keep, as Horde, your best option is the lavishly jeweled ring from the dead mines. You can pick yourself up a scout's or sentinel's neck from your corresponding Warsong Gulch vendor. For Alliance, you can get an overpowered as fuck quiver from this quest in Duskwood. I couldn't find any Horde equivalent, so unless I'm mistaken you're stuck with a generic shitter quiver. On screen I'll be showing you some talent builds you can do, the most optimal one in my opinion is 5 points into improved concussive shots, and 5 points into lethal shots. When improved concussive shot procs, it can mean the difference between life or death, or getting a kill and not getting one. Then lethal shots is a no brainer as it improves your damage. If you feel you're running out of mana you can pop 5 points into efficiency even though I wouldn't recommend it. Another viable option, if you're looking for more damage, is to grab Humonoid Slaying. Then go into Marksmanship grabbing 5 points of concussive shot and dumping the rest into lethal shots. If you're feeling extra spicy you can even go into Beast Mastery to get improved aspect of the Hawk. Now for the ultimate spec, Melee Hunter. Here's the talents you'll need to use. But fuck having fun with it, just use this spec. Now for the pet, the absolute best pet you can get is a boar. Look that shit up if you can't find it, the charge ability is some next level shit. The number one tip I can give to anyone, hunter or not, is to target the low level shitter so you can inflate your kill death ratio. These plebs go down in seconds and make for a great ego booster. My second tip is to know that multi-shot, even when used single target, is your highest damage ability. Most people think it should only be used when there are multiple targets, but little did they know it does a fuckload of damage. Just watch out as it costs a good chunk of mana. For my third tip, I suggest that every time you're near a paladin you whisper him telling him to give you fucking blessing of wisdom or you'll troll the BG. With Blessing of Wisdom, you don't have to think about saving mana for harder opponents, you can just blow all your mana blasting the low level shitters away and regen it anyway. This tip is very handy when facing off against a squishy opponent you could easily melt if they didn't have a healer. The ridiculous attack speed of pets in vanilla WoW makes it so casters can't even get a spell off when being attacked by one. Don't be afraid to take your enemy to pound town, and melee them. Hunters do surprisingly good melee damage at this level, just make sure you swap into aspect of the monkey in situations like you see on the screen. I didn't because I'm a shitter, but you're not a shitter. When a rogue or warrior gets into melee range, running is a waste unless you land a wing clip on them. Immediately turn on them, wing clip, and run straight away until you can hit them with a concussive. Do not stop moving to cast concussive, just do a jump spin using your mouse to turn. If you're a keyboard turner or a clicker there is no point in you watching this guide because you're hopeless. You can use consumables and world buffs if you want to go next level, just get all of the relevant flasks you can. If you're a raider, you can even get the Zulgurub buffs on these level 19s. I can't be fucked to bother with buffs, but if you want to go all out then be my guest. 
And for my final tip, I'm here to tell you that as a hunter it's your job to track the enemy flag carrier. Use track humanoids, if a druid has the flag you may need to try track beasts. But please, don't be a hunter. Be a good hunter, who tracks the enemy flag carrier and calls out locations to their team. Alright, I hope you made it through this video. Good luck with your new hunter. All I got left is the rest of this footage from a Warsong Gulch. Remember to fucking subscribe you cunt.